Did you ever think you could make a beautiful tablescape with pineapples? Well, never fear, because Maria Provenzano is going to show us how. Is it? Yes, that would be right Alexandra. Alexandra. Off okay. she goes. By the way, <laughs> doesn't SpongeBob live in a pineapple at the it bottom? He lives in a pineapple bottom? under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, okay. Look up here. Is this so sad that I know that song? Like, I'm, oh I'm my in, gosh. In this is really beautiful. Uh, I am loving thank this you. whole thing. Wonderful. So explain, why, why pineapples? Other than Spongebob, yeah. why? <laughs> why? Why? Why pineapples? Wait, is he here? Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Okay, so back to the pineapples. Um, no, pineapples are so beautiful, and I think when we think of decorating, we always think of flowers, and of course we love flowers because they're so beautiful, but so is a pineapple or an artichoke or, you know, so I think using Mother Nature's artwork mm -hmm. as a tablescape yeah. is really fun. And just, I think, because the intricate details and they're so beautiful. So we, were, we were talking just before, uh, and it's my favorite fruit. I yes. love pineapple. pineapple. I oh, love pineapple. Oh, nice and sweet. Because it reminds me of Hawaii? the islands. Oh, yeah. Yes. Tropical. Where you are from? <laughs> I'm from the island. Yeah, sure, no. All right. So give us some tips on when we are considering making a tablescape. Yes, so c when considering making a a tablescape I love adding height that's one of my favorite things and because it just really makes it look you know more interesting and uh, well, it's so very appealing to the yeah, eye. Yeah, very appealing to the eye and also what I've learned from Christina is working in odd numbers so I have here as you can see there's three pineapples and then breaking up in between so you want to make sure everything is odd so, and wait, so is one an odd number what you could do one so, one lone uh, pineapple. So you're an odd number I'm, I'm odd you is that yeah, right you are, so you're you working are, with me yeah. I'm odd okay, yeah. okay. you Got know it. I'm not here to judge anybody so <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the texture and color so the texture you can see of course the pineapple has lots of um, intricate details but sure. also the softness of the flowers I added some fresh palms to keep that nature kind of feel and the burlap everything is just you know kind of keep Keeping that interest, a lot of color, making it really bright it's and cheery. really enchanting. I just love it. Thank you. Really, could you go in another direction and go just smooth texture with leaving just the pineapple for the for the one texture rather than a combination of the two? I mean, you probably could, but this is more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Much more fun. I don't know. Did you just walk? Great as, Did you walk? Yes. Really? All right. Yes. Yeah, so I got started earlier today, so I'll show you guys how I started with the vases. And so you cut the pineapple and just taking the top off, as you can see, I actually used a pineapple core. This thing is really cool, you guys. Wait, it's what's so the yeah, much easier. You know about that I don't know about that. I have that, tried to does. use um, a, a scoop and a knife to take out the middle of the pineapple and it makes it so much diff more difficult and kind of dangerous too. And then I just used a paring knife to take out the center, you see, and then you can eat all the pineapple. Right, and then I use pineapple smoothie. Exactly. Oh and then gosh. I just use <laughs> juice it. the bag What's next? Slice bread? to go. Yep. You, as you can see, that goes over the pineapple and that brings us to right here. So this is when you're gonna do a base with real flowers. So then yeah. you put some water in here. And you know what? I would use it with fake flowers too, because then you wouldn't, then you don't ruin your fake flowers. But mm -hmm. you could really use I use combination fake and yes. real. And that's what these are because um, I brought some flowers that had died and then Christina was gracious enough to let me have some of her real flowers. Well no we garden. went in the backyard here. It's all, yes. all of our flowers. Well the home because and family we all live here. Yes. And, and this is from our backyard. That is including an artichoke. our artichoke. That's not a flower. <laughs> uh, this artichoke came from our garden. In Isn't the back. it beautiful? I know, but that's not a flower. Well it's an artichoke. It's a vegetable. But it's not a flower. Oh, stop it. Okay. So now we're, being not, we're not authentic. We said we were talking flowers. Stop. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I digress. Yeah. <laughs> so All anyways. Right. It was so, the sugar from I the see. Sugar. Yeah. And so what you can do is actually create the vase by cutting flowers and placing them in here. So the water in there is for the real flowers, obviously, right. if you need them. And then, Christina, if you'd want... Um, maybe fill this vase with whatever you'd like in the flowers that you picked from the so you could beautiful put flowers. Any, like if you wanted to use saran wrap, wrap as long as it were. We water in there then. No? If right. you wanted saran, you could do saran wrap if you didn't want to use a Ziploc bag. Basically, it's just an insulator to you know, hold the yeah, water. You, well, you, yeah, you want to be able to or just. Or a cup. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. you don't. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, this is fun. I love it. This is my favorite thing ever to do. And there's scissors yeah. here if we want to go. Ever. Oh, there are scissors. Okay. <laughs> this ever. Is this is more my... than going to Neiman Marcus and <laughs> buying shoes and eating popovers? Uh, oh, popovers. Um, um, <laughs> I have to think about just that. Just bring the food up and I'm just sold. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to um, check. But a note on the vases. So as you can see, I put them on, on candlesticks. Now, it might be hard to see on camera, which is kind of the whole point, but I put them on 
paper plates and then glued them onto the candlestick so that it keeps them a little bit more sturdy because okay. um, they, uh, they can be top heavy. But since you've taken the inside out, it makes them a little bit uh, lighter. But that's sure. just a little bit of a safety thing as well. So that's what I did for, for ooh. Oh, and then so good. for this, as you can see, all you do is tuck in the bag and then you have your vase, which is so and fine. Stick in another How cool one is of that? Our, our little. Oh yeah. Or a little and height. Yes. Right? There we go. <laughs> and then you can see the pineapples, the really colorful pineapples in front. I used regular um, acrylic craft paint for the pink and the blue. And then for the white and the gold, I used spray paint. So you guys, spray paint is so much easier than using craft paint. <laughs> but you can use either. It's more cost effective to use craft paint. These are gonna be about $2, whereas um, the spray paint is gonna be about nine or $10, depending on what spray paint that you get. But it's definitely a lot easier. Just make sure you cover the pineapple with some, uh, I, I like aluminum foil, because it molds to the pineapple really well. But, um, and then the, and you just spray it and let it dry. Wow. Those now are the nice. stirs that you made? Yes, are they so cute? These, Thank you. oh my gosh, you guys, I got a little pineapple happy. Um, the, <laughs> I was like, I can make drinks to hers into pineapples. So this is actually made from clay, as you can see here, and it just adds a little touch to your drink. That's and the, so Yeah, cute. so this is clay, and then this is, I've worked with clay on the show before, yeah. and so you just mold it, and then um, so I, what you put in the oven and, and, and you harden. put it in the yeah. oven and it hardens and then I wow. made sure to add a, you Press, listened yeah. I pay attention Wow I'm very <laughs> impressed and then and then you name, glue it on to um, the drink stir it. I love so it. flowers so much these are so beautiful those are I love this makes it number that, six though makes it uneven uh oh well then you can take this home you know what it's so much fun to do 